Hello and welcome to the Gym RPG Show. Merry Christmas to everybody who's watching this and to all of my subscribers who subscribe during the year. It's been great fun to get to know you guys in the comments and you guys are really well informed audience and I'm really appreciative of that so thank you once again. Okay, so to get to today's content, we're going to talk about AMD's GPUs or rather their stock shortages for these AMD GPUs and uh, MSI had a stream on their YouTube channel announcing their gaming trio cards and in a roundabout way they talked about the AMD GPU sh uh, stock shortages. So we're going to take a look at what they said and we're going to talk a little bit about what's going to happen with AMD GPUs in quarter one and quarter two of 2021. Okay, so if you like this video, make sure to click the like button and also to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Okay, but first let's go to this tweet from Andre on September the 24th and he tweeted out, $10 says AMD will be a paper launch too. To which Frank Azor, the AMD marketing director, he responded with, I look forward to taking your $10 smiley face. Now, I think enough time has passed since the launch period and from this tweet that we can safely say that there just wasn't enough AMD GPUs out there. And I think Frank owes this guy $10. Now, some people might say, well, Frank, he, he was probably just playing around a bit because NVIDIA, they were struggling with their launch at the time and they couldn't get any GPUs out. But I would say Frank, he knew what the numbers were at the time for uh, these AMD Radeon 6000 GPUs. And it's a really bad look for him now that uh, there simply aren't any GPUs out there. And he effectively lied to everybody at the time to make sure that people would look AMD's way uh, when they went to make their announcement for their GPUs, even though they knew when they got up on stage that they probably didn't have any GPUs either. And they were really just doing it to make sure that people uh, didn't buy the NVIDIA GPUs. So is this really surprising? Not really. This is really just marketing 101. And um, yes, Frank lied, but you know, people need to use their own judgment from time to time. Um, you know, you walk into a car dealership, you don't expect um, to get the complete truth. You got to go online, get independent reviews on everything. So I think people should treat marketing people the same way as they do if they go and walk into a car dealership. Um, the car dealership wants to sell you their cars and uh, you need to do your own research. Okay, so let's go to this MSI news and I've taken this from video cards and their headline is MSI will be focusing on the Radeon gaming series only due to lack of GPU supply and this will be their gaming trio or their gaming X trio line of cards. So I'm reading from the second paragraph here, the manufacturer publicly confirmed it will focus on the gaming series only. That means only four SKUs are currently planned, including factory overclocked models known as Gaming X Trio and cards featuring clocks closer to stock known as Gaming Trio. Now, during their announcement stream, this was what really interested me. And this is Eric Van Burden from MSI. And he says, so this is our gaming card. This is Gaming X Trio. And like we have already talked to you before, maybe you've missed it. We are only going to focus on this design. So we didn't plan any other SKUs, meaning blower type fan design or Supreme, because we don't get enough supply. And it's then better to only focus on one SKU. But in the future, we will see and yes, that's from Eric Van Burden, MSI. So if you take a look at this screenshot here from their YouTube stream, this is their lineup for the Radeon RX 6800 cards. And this is their 6800 XT and also their non-XT versions. So uh, you can see here, they've just got the Gaming X Trio and the Gaming Trio. So they only have four cards available. And this, I think this will be very similar to the RTX 3080 series lineup of uh, Gaming Trio cards because they both have the same amounts of uh, power draw or very similar to it so you can expect a very similar design so continuing on from their video cards article now this is a little bit of an editorial bits from video cards and they write no supply from AMD and board partners despite almost a month passing since the launch of Radeon RX 6800 cards the supply of graphics cards is still non-existent AMD clearly failed to communicate the situation to the community and has left potential customers without any official information on Navi 21 restocking the supply of Navi 21 is so bad that it if we were to call the NVIDIA RTX 30 release a paper launch, then the RX 6800 launch was still in a cellulose state. 
So I think that video cards editorial there is pretty damning on AMD and uh, they criticized Nvidia as well. They said that the RTX 30 series launch was a paper launch. It's just that the AMD one was much worse. And frankly speaking, it was probably, um, they were both disastrous and you know, the situation doesn't look like it's going to be rectified anytime soon and there's a lot of people out there who want 30 series and 6000 series cards and can't get them. So going back to what Eric from MSI said, he's saying that uh, they're not going to be looking at any other SKUs for the time being and it's just going to be the gaming trio lineup. And I think that's really interesting because normally these board partners, they want to have as many SKUs as possible because that covers a higher uh, price range or a wider price range sorry and I think uh, you know that helps them to upsell uh, the higher price cards so the other thing to note is that I think it takes roughly about two months for them to I guess go from design to the finished product and I think Eric would know whether there were uh, other cards that they were going to be producing and he specifically says that um, they don't have any plans to produce any other SKUs at this time being which really tells me that I guess for the next few months they're only expecting to make these gaming trio cards and I don't think the stock shortages are going to clear up until we see other types of cards like Ventus and Supreme until they have more supply that they can go and make more SKUs I don't think they're going to do it so we're really going to see these stock shortages continue on for these Radeon 6000 cards for the first quarter of 2021 anyway Okay, so just a quick reminder to check my previous video on this topic, which was uh, titled TSMC numbers show AMD chose consoles. And in that video, I showed how AMD decided to go with the PS5s and Xbox Series Xs this holiday season, and also probably quarter one as well. So um, they decided that they wouldn't want to make um, Radeon 6000 GPUs and uh, they allocated a significant amount of stock, over 80% of their wafer allocations went to the PS5s and Xbox Series X, meaning uh, they only had about 30,000 wafers for uh, their whole lineup of their Ryzen CPUs and Radeon GPUs, and they make a lot of more money on those Ryzen CPUs, so no doubt they were going to make Ryzen CPUs, and really um, the Radeon GPUs were the ones to suffer. So uh, make sure to check out that video because in that video I highlight uh, exactly how many uh, PS5s and Xbox Series Xs they're going to make and really not very many of these Radeon uh, GPUs. Okay, so um, remember if you like this video make sure to click the like button and also to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this and I'll see you in the next one.